To be fair, if I was an evil, satanic, psychopathic ruler, I would take away chicken first. You know, most people are afraid of eating red meat. Most people don't really eat a lot of pork. We're assuming that the majority of the masses eat chicken on a very frequent basis. But it does seem odd that meat is always causing the issues, whereas fruits and vegetables, which are actually grown in that animal's doo-doo, the chicken poo-poo, never seem to make the news. We made a video titled, Vegetables Are Dirtier Than Meat, which wasn't too well received as most of my videos. The vegan agenda is obviously against meat and has been brainwashing people into starvation for many years. But this is much bigger than that. The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, headed by the United Nations, who are basically the new slave world rulers, are attempting to take meat away from everyone under the guise of climate change. Western diets, primarily responsible for rapid deterioration of ecological and human well-being, encourage ever-increasing production and consumption of meat, one of the greatest sustainability threats. To mitigate, this policy recommends flexitarianism or a substantial reduction of meat consumption, at the very least, to the healthy levels recommended by credible medical authorities, i.e. maximum of 500 grams per week. Credible medical authorities? Of course we have the appeal to authority. Elite ran government organizations whose main goal is to keep the masses in a slave-like mindset. There is no factual or logical basis for claims made by these government organizations. They just make things up to fit their end goal and use their control of the media to brainwash people into it through psychological warfare. I mean, if you read this stuff, it is sickening. <laughs> it is so clear what they're trying to do. Empowering women to achieve sustainable development. Women are mainly responsible for shopping and preparing meals at home and making food and menu choices for their children and husbands. For the direct well-being of their families and the planet, they should be informed and empowered to make better food choices focused on healthier, plant-based options. Education and training, empowering youth. Through the influence of their mothers and other educational and health organizations, youth should be empowered to reject the lure of fast food and other meat-based options. Everything these psychos in charge do is absolutely disgusting, distasteful, gross. They're targeting the woman and children, as opposed to the men. I mean, is the man of today strong enough to stand up to this nonsense? I think some of them are, and they've noticed that, but with all the soy boys wandering around, I am not so certain. It's much easier to use propaganda and lies on women and children. They're more vulnerable and prone to hive-minded groupthink. It's just built into their biology for survival. You know, if you go along with the pack, your chances of survival are much higher. Of course, there are outliers in both genders, but for the most part, Men are built to hunt, to procure resources, to oppose ideas. What really creeps me out is all of these buzzwords that the United Nations is using and we've seen influencers, people on TV say the same thing, especially plant-based flexitarianism. It is so, so scary that these brainwashed vegans that are just trying to save the animals are using terminology that was given to them by the New World Slave Order. And to answer the very basic question of why they're doing this, if you deprive a human of meat, specifically B vitamins, omega fatty acids, they become very complacent, zombie-like, you know, it destroys testosterone in men. So just people sit around all day on their phones doing nothing. That's what they want. Bird flu outbreak spreads to nearly 20% of Japan's prefectures. Japan's bird flu outbreak worsens with record cullings. Now, Japan has recently had to kill millions of chickens because of an outbreak, but the predictive programming started over a month ago in early November. Imprint this idea in people's minds so they don't question it when it actually happens. New highly pathogenic avian flu in northern Japan it is transmitted to humans only in one situation. A prefectural government official 
said that it will not transmit to humans outside of special circumstances, such as contacting living birds that are infected. So we had the predictive programming to prepare people for the event, and then there's more fear mongering to put people in a state of shock. So they continue to not question anything, just stay complacent. Now they enact what they intended to do. Japan's worst ever bird flu outbreak has spread to a new area and now affects almost 20% of the country's 47 prefectures with officials ordering mass cullings after poultry deaths on two farms. Farms in two more prefectures slaughtering chicken in a record call of poultry as the government ordered the disinfection of all chicken farms. The latest cullings mean nearly 2.5 million chickens will have been slaughtered since the outbreak began. Note that the government ordered these cullings. Your own government told farmers to destroy enough food to feed millions and millions of people without any tangible proof outside of media news articles. It's just what they're telling you. you know, imagine if someone came up to you and said, oh, uh, your grandmother is going to pass unless you let me take $100,000 out of your bank account. I mean, it sounds like some Nigerian prince scam. That's literally what they do to the sheeple and they believe it. There are millions of people throughout the world that are in on this deception and those people probably have pantries full of a year's worth of food. And if you actually explored the truth instead of taking things at face value, the narrative of what's going on in the world quickly crumbles apart. But it looks like other countries are trying to do the same thing. Avian influenza spreading rapidly in Europe. What to do about the bird flu? According to a European Center for Disease Prevention and Control report, since October 16th, multiple European countries, including Belgium, Denmark, France, Germany, Ireland, the Netherlands, Sweden, and the United Kingdom, have already reported outbreaks of highly pathogenic avian influenza. So far, the risk to humans seems to be low. No humans have caught the HPAI yet. Nonetheless, as the pandemic has shown. Things that previously didn't infect humans could at some point mutate to do so. The same nonsense, fear mongering and predictive programming. The media hasn't told you that these types of illnesses are actually created by the body in toxic environments manufactured by your own cells, let alone that it's not possible to be transmitted from person to person. Where are all the Native American tales or cave paintings of people dying from eating wild game birds? Doesn't it seem odd that the many elites, the royal family, hunt these exact birds and eat them, but are telling you they're spreading something deadly? The same news has been pushed rapidly in all of these European countries. Amid you know what, UK official warns of bird flu risk get prepared. Bird flu fears grow after spate of mysterious UK swan deaths. Turkeys cold on Wicklow farm following bird flu outbreak. What are they doing? Making the swans sick with directed radiation? Predictive programming back in August. France confirms outbreak of highly pathogenic bird flu on duck farm. December 8th, France orders extermination of 6,000 ducks after major outbreak of bird flu. If the people of the world allow the government to take meat away with this nonsense, limit your consumption, I wouldn't be surprised. These evil psychopaths in charge use all sorts of tricks and lies. They are liars to deceive the sheep into holding pens. They control the food supply for the majority of the planet. They control the media. It would take massive amounts of awakening and understanding to get people to raise food for themselves support local farmers and create security. And if people have been locked inside for almost a year now, I think it would be much easier to tell people, oh, if you don't consume meat, you can go back to living a normal life. Imagine if that's something along the lines of what they would do. I think a lot of people would do that. It's kind of scary, kind of crazy, but it's what's happening right now. So this predictive programming of taking away the meat supply is something that we've seen for months and months. I've been talking about it, but there are several other influencers who are getting a lot of views that are just spreading fear and mind controlling people into accepting food shortages. 
Those people are hired government agents whose goal is to keep you in a negative mindset. So just bear that in mind. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully, uh, you know, this kind of makes you aware of what's going on. You can talk to more people about it, get them to wake up a little bit. You know, as soon as the government starts telling farmers to grow out their produce, which they've done, to call animals, which they've done, <laughs> they're taking your food away. And people need to realize that. Uh, so if you guys could uh, please leave a comment down below, drop a like on the video, and hit that notification bell so you know when my videos go up. Um, if you do want to support me further, you can check out frank stefanocom for all of my businesses, Frankie's Arranged Meat, Frankie's Naturals, Wi-Fi Shielding, as well as to reach out to me. Thanks again for joining me, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.